Well, tomorrow will also be day one of Hope Week at the stadium. And to discuss this great initiative, we are joined now by Yankees Vice President of Communications and Media Relations, Jason Zillow. Jason, always great to see you, my friend. Hope Week Hi. was on hiatus in 2020 for obvious reasons. Does having a Hope Week this year feel like yet another step towards some normalcy? Uh, hi, Nance. Good to see you. And uh, yeah, I think uh, collectively, uh, as an organization, as a city, as a society, I think, um, you know, I think people are ready to kind of pick themselves back off the mat and kind of dust themselves off and kind of, uh, you know, begin that return to, you know, what we all feel like is normalcy. And for, you know, 11 years here, Hope Week's become, you know, a, a staple. It's become a tradition. And the fact that, you know, we're able to roll this thing back out again this year and kind of, you know, unfurl some good news for five straight days, I think is welcomed by everybody. Absolutely. And for those that may not be familiar, let people know how did Hope Week get started? And please make sure everyone knows this is your inspiration. Oh, well, it's it, it look, it started on my dry erase board back at the old Yankee Stadium. I don't even remember what year it was now, but for it to go from where it was then to the reality that is now, uh, it's very much a collective effort. Uh, starts, A, with the people who work in this department, um, who kind of really pour their heart and souls into it for uh, an awful long time leading up to the week. Uh, but also, really, the ownership and, you know, my bosses need to also be recognized because every year it's not can we do it? It's how we can do it better. And when I go to them and ask them for um, whether it's inspiration, whether it's finances, whatever it is, it's not, you know, it's it's absolutely yes. What can we do to make this even more impactful to the community surrounding us? Well, we've already spotlighted one of the Hope Week honorees. Can you give us a preview of what next week has in store overall without giving too much away? I know a lot of it is a surprise to folks. Yeah, you know, I, I, look, I would I would just say that I think that it's a it's a diverse group of people and organizations and families who um, who deserve a moment of spotlight and not necessarily, you know, for their egos. But, you know, a lot of these uh, stories, a lot of these causes, you know, one of the big reasons we do what we do is to kind of take the engine of the Yankees and kind of allow these people, these families to kind of climb on our back and let the rest of the world, New York City, know that they exist, that their stories are worth hearing and they should be celebrated. And, you know, Jason, one of the many great things about this is that the Yankees players themselves are involved all week long. How much pride does that give you to see some of the top names in the game take part? Yeah, there. I mean, look, the players drive the bus here in more, more ways than one. And when they uh, embrace and wrap their arms around something like Hope Week, I mean, that gives us uh, wind at our back. You know, if, if, if our players are invested and they truly are with this for many years now, um, it really allows the initiative to take the shape that it should. Because, look, these these kids or these families or these organizations, when they see the New York Yankees, and they see our players with smiles on their faces and our players' willingness to embrace them and embrace their stories. It just makes everything that much more impactful. And Hope Week has definitely inspired other organizations as, as we've seen. What does that say about the reach of Hope Week? I mean, that's, that's kind of what was intended. The fact of the matter is we do five stories every year. And there's so many more other stories out there that we don't get to that you know, hopefully other teams, other companies, other industries um, kind of pick up the torch and carry it along the way. That, that That's all the better because there's more than five stories every year that uh, should be spotlighted. Just great. Thanks so much, Jason, for the time. Have a tremendous hope. We congratulations on everything and safe travels back home. Thanks, Nance. Good to see you. See you Have soon. Have a good day. Yes, you too.